Good afternoon. Reporting from Winners High School, this is Furman Cruz. The month of January is School Board Appreciation Month. As a student, one question is frequently asked. What are the duties of a school board member or a trustee? A trustee is defined in the American Heritage Dictionary as a member of a, of a board or appointed to direct the funds and the policy of an institution. Stating that in plain English, the board makes policies and makes long and short-term goals for the district. School board members meet at least once a month unless there are other matters that need to be taken care of. Our local school board members are Doug Bryan, Bill Bredmeyer, Carla Hooper, which is the secretary, Charles Kidwell, Kevin Busher, which is the vice president, Dan Kello, and Doug Wheat, which is the president. I interviewed our superintendent, Mr. Kimple, this week, and this is what he had to say. Good morning, Mr. Kimple. We just have a couple of questions here. Fantastic. Glad you guys are here. About the school board. Okay. So, um, well, the first question is, what is a school board and what do they do? The school board is a body of uh, seven individuals, of elected officials, uh, who are elected either, uh, we have two at-large members and we have uh, five that uh, are voted upon by geographical regions, what we call places, uh, within uh, within our school system. So we have a total of seven board members and uh, that are elected uh, they are elected officials and they uh, serve uh, three-year terms. Okay, well the second question is how often do they meet? Uh, our, our board meets uh, once a month uh, for our regular uh, scheduled board meeting. We meet the second Monday uh, of every month at 6.30 p.m. Uh, here in the administrative uh, office building or we meet across the street at the special events center. Uh, and those meetings typically last uh, two to three hours. Okay, and the last question we have for you is is it important for the students to know about the school board? Oh, absolutely. And I, we, we strongly encourage the uh, school board meetings uh, are public meetings. And we certainly in, invite parents and community members and students to attend uh, those, uh, those uh, meetings as well. Uh, it's a very, very in, informative uh, for uh, students to really see uh, democracy in action. And uh, I, call, I strongly encourage uh, uh, you and, and, our, and our student body and and parents to come in and attend those meetings. Okay. Mr. Gimple, is there anything else that the students need to know about the school board? Again, I think it's it really is truly a democracy in action and it's a representative form uh, of government. Uh, the elected officials uh, do represent uh, their constituents either uh, in their uh, in their particular uh, precinct or place or, or either at large. Uh, the school board uh, they have a big job, and that is, to, for one, to hire a superintendent. Uh, the second one is to uh, uh, to set the budget, uh, to set the tax rate, and to also uh, adopt any type of uh, a policy uh, policy changes as well. So it's a very, very important job. Uh, it's uh, done on a voluntary basis. Uh, it really is uh, a job of service and uh, uh, for uh, our district as well. So we. Uh, are very appreciative uh, of the board members who are, who are willing to uh, devote uh, the time and, and commitment to the meetings uh, to serve the community and to uh, uh, to do uh, what they can to uh, to improve the school system. So uh, those are the big ones and, and, and probably uh, one of the overarching responsibilities of, of the, uh, the school board or school board members is, is really to, to, to really uh, establish uh, a vision uh, for the uh, for the school district. And, and it really worked uh, where we want the, the district to be and, and how we want the, the district to grow and improve uh, in those areas. So uh, it's, a, it's a lot of responsibility, it's, it's a big charge, and uh, we definitely are, are very appreciative of our school board members who are, willing, who are willing to serve. Well, thank you, Mr. Cooper, for taking the time to sit down and answer. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. We would like to say thank you to our school board members for their time and service to our school.